everyone, and welcome back to another edition of CSN Interviews. I'm Tyler Gallo, and with men's soccer getting their season in sort of full swing right now, they're deep in the horizon league schedule. I'm joined by one of the leading scorers on the team, Brian Akongo. Brian, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, you know, start things off a little bit. You guys have UIC this weekend, one of the toughest teams in the conference over the last couple of years. How are you guys, you know, looking forward to that game and preparing for it? Yeah, we're looking forward to it a lot, you know. We know how good they are as a team. They're very technical. They've got a lot of like culture in their team, a lot of internationals. So playing them in the spring, we have a good insight to how they play and how they like to possess the ball. So all week we've just been pre like preparing on how to shut them down and also how to attack them and penetrate them as well. So uh, it's going to be a really good game, really fascinating game. Can't wait to play. Yeah, definitely a tough squad, a team that's won the championship over the last couple of years before. Um, so moving back a little bit, you know, coming from London, you know, how do you end up here at RMU, you know, across and overseas? <laughs> I don't even know myself really. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, uh, yeah, so I think two years ago I was looking at coming to America, like colleges and stuff. I, I, well, initially I went to a program. Um, in London, South London, um, just playing and, uh, you know, full-time training and just a program where you can improve your skills and stuff like that. And there was always the option to go to, like, uh, America to play college football. A couple of other guys from my program had already went to other schools. And um, uh, at the time, like, around 18, I was like, mm, I'm not too sure, you know, I want to keep playing here and see how I do in England, you know, because England's where is the hotbed of you know, right. world football, you know? Yeah. So initially I was a bit, you know, ooming and ahhing about like coming to America, but I did go on a visit to uh, a, another school in North Carolina and I got a good insight to how it was and how the system works. And it was a great experience really to, to go to that school and um, just see how things work, see the quality. Because obviously coming from England, people think Americans can't play football, like <laughs> the, the soccer right. here or... I should probably say soccer actually instead, but yeah, the <laughs> soccer just isn't as much of a high standard as it in as it is in uh, in Europe. So that was my thinking, anyways. But then when I came here, I saw what it was like, and I saw the training, I saw the players. I was I was really like, okay, this is actually somewhere where I could really improve. But then you know, you know, I came back to England, and um, I, I was I was just thinking, you know what, I still want to try and make in England. You know, I still want to try and you know, get a professional contract or something like that, you know. And, you know, I was I was playing, I was playing at a decent level. Right. Um, but then obviously COVID hit <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't play for like a year. So that just changed my whole perspective of um, my plan, you know, my two, three year plan. And, you know, I think it must have been maybe last year, November, I was thinking about, um, go into college just like mm -hmm. thinking okay I'm gonna do this yeah and it was January when I came here so it was it was so quick um, I I was looking at a lot of schools and um, when uh, RMU came along it, it was probably the first school where th there was real interest like I spoke to the head coach I spoke to the assistant coach who's English as well uh, Matty so um, I think that helped as well having an English assistant coach because he knew more about my situation right. and how I was feeling and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, when I spoke to those two, um, it, it was really pretty much a no-brain. It was more about just a matter of time in terms of just getting uh, here by January, really. So, it was uh, it was very quick. Um, was I ready? Probably not, but <laughs> you know, it was definitely the, the best choice for me yeah you know you mentioned a little bit obviously the COVID and stuff like that I mean you mentioned the transition as well looking at schools I mean how tough really was that transition especially you know coming in with COVID and not playing here on campus and sort of just you know really not getting a Horizon League or getting a non-conference schedule either going straight into the big deal of the Horizon League I mean yeah it was tough it was it was really tough um COVID and stuff because like you know during COVID I was at home I wasn't playing so I was overthinking things, you know, which was beneficial, but also not so great at the same time because I knew going to the America was the best choice. I knew it was the best decision for me, but being at home, not really doing anything, you overthink things. You're right. thinking, mm, maybe I, sh what if I don't go to America? What if I stay here, you know? So it probably made it a bit more stressful than it should have been coming to America with the COVID because I just had so much time to think about it and 
there was times where I said no and, you know, the coach had to speak to me and said, this is the right decision, you're doing the right thing. You know, I'd go to my dad and I'd be like, you know, I don't know if I, I want to go across the the world to just play, you know, a sport that I can play anywhere else, right. you know, in Europe. So, but it was the right decision. And when I got here, um, I didn't really know what to expect, you know. I had a little expectation because I, I visited another school uh, a year and a half ago. So I knew kind of what the college um, feel was. But um, uh, when I came here, it was obviously a lot different with COVID because, you know, there was a lot of restrictions, the bubble and stuff like that. So I didn't really get to experience like a college, like, like a proper college lifestyle. Right, yeah. You know, it was more... As soon as I came in, it was sh- straight to the season, mm-hmm. straight to training, straight to academics. And yeah, there was really no feeling out pro- like process, which, you know, it wasn't the best, but it was a good thing as well because I, I wanted to play at, at, uh, at the same time. So I wanted to just, I just wanted to compete. So um, it was great for me in that aspect. But academics, you know, it can get to you a little bit. Right. <laughs> so um, no, nah, it was good. It was. It was very quick, but I think it was a good thing that it was quick because if I may, if I, I don't know, if, if I'd have come in the fall, that period between um, November and the fall, it would have been pretty tough to keep training and keep, you know, improving my skills. So I was I was happy that, um, not happy that COVID happened, but I was happy under the circumstances what I did, yeah. Right, and you know, I mean, Playing games obviously takes your mind off of all that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, But, you know, last season obviously was tough for you guys as a team as well. You know, just the one goal and one win as a team. Was it tough to come out of that season with that? Or was that sort of just like this season was just so crazy that, you know, I'm not really looking at it as something like, oh, this is going to be us as a team. We're going to come back and bounce back. Oh, no, it was tough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know, when you're losing most games, you know, and um, I wouldn't even say losing the games. It was just the manner that we lost where we didn't really have we didn't really threaten teams, you know? Um, and, you know, I wasn't really used to that as a player. And I don't think many other players are used to that too, just, you know, losing so many games, you know? But um, the coach is very adamant about how, like, this is a process, you know, because the coach just came as well. Right. Uh, he, he came in, new coaching staff. Um, he's working with new players like myself as well. So it was really just a... A whole rebuild uh, from the start, you know. Whereas other teams, they probably been playing with each other for two, three years. It was really just from the ground, like um, the spring. So we didn't really expect much, but obviously, you know, when you're playing games and you want to compete and you want to show what you can do, it's tough when you're losing and you're not really threatening teams. Um, I think we all felt that. Um, so. It was tough, but it was also a good learning experience as well, um, especially for myself, you know, because I didn't really know, the like, I didn't play a game, a college game. So it's like, I didn't know the level, the the speed of play and the intensity, you know. And I feel like I was very, the first game against, um, I think we played Oakland, who are a very good team. Uh, I wasn't expecting much. I thought, yeah, they're going to be good, you know, here and there, but, you know, the level it really showed me okay this is a really good level and um you know i'm gonna have to be my best like my top every game to to even just compete with these guys you know so i think i think spring was a good preparation for now you know because spring was tough you know like you know we we really had to like look up, like look at ourselves as players and as a team and you know we 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 knew we, like we were in a transition as a team, but it was like there were so many things we had to overcome. You know, whether it was intensity in training, you know, trying to up the sessions, you know, um, just in game, you know, communication and, and just little things, you know, that to be a successful team you need to do. We were still trying to get that, you know, and obviously it's, a, it's new players as well, so that was, um, you know, that was what was like, lacking a little bit, but. I feel like spring was a great preparation for now because even so now we we still got a lot a lot more to improve. Spring was really tough, like really tough. So I think going through that personally and as a team as well was very important um, and has helped me now go into this season just firing. You know, still a lot to learn, but you know, just you know I want to do better every every game. You know. 
Yeah, good mindset to have, especially, you know, it's still still sort of a newer team as well. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, going straight into the Horizon League last year. And, I mean, I guess it was sort of a blessing in disguise to have that, you know, growth period before you get here. Um, I mean, one main difference of last season, though, you're not playing indoors anymore with the, having to worry about the ceiling or anything like that yeah, yeah. Um, in Cannonsburg. But what has it made a lot of a difference playing here on campus as opposed to in Cannonsburg? Um... I mean, as a player, when you're playing, I can play in any condition. Right. I think most players can play in any condition, any circumstance. So when you're playing, I don't think you really feel it. Um, but I, I guess like preparation, like game day, like when it's on campus, it, it feels more comfortable. You know, right. you haven't got to travel to a location and then um, make do with what you have to do there and, pre and prepare there. I feel like a game day on campus is so much better. And also having people watch as well, like right. fans and stuff like that. A lot different. It's on ESPN. So it's a, it's a different feel. But when you're playing, you're just playing. So on the pitch, it's you got to do your job. So it doesn't, I don't feel much of a difference in terms of that. But the whole atmosphere, the whole preparation around it, a, a lot of difference. I think it's a lot more better as well, for sure. A lot more better. Yeah, definitely, and easier for people to get there as well as opposed <laughs> a lot to easier, yeah. way out of the way for it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you spent over the summer playing with the Hot Spurs here locally in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I mean, how did that prep you for this season as well, having that and then staying local as well? Yeah, so uh, I stayed local. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't been home yet. So, um, uh, yeah, I made a decision to, to go in the summer because – or no, to stay in the summer in Pittsburgh and to play because, you know, I, I, the spring, like – I'd missed a year of football, so I wanted to play. I wanted yeah. to, I didn't want to go, I didn't necessarily want to go home and come back. I just wanted to play all in and then see how it goes. And uh, at the hospital, it was, it was really great, you know, because during the semester, in spring, like in the spring, I didn't really get to see much of the city and I didn't really get to explore as much. So in the summer, I got to do a lot of that and uh, it was really good, you know. I got to, to play with the Hotspurs, coach, um, do uh, a lot of other activities as well that you know help me just integrate with people uh, in the area and um, yeah it was good like I didn't know people knew Robert Morris as much as uh, in in Pittsburgh as like the other schools but they actually do you know I'm wearing the shirt in the city and people recognize it so it was um yeah it was really a, a good summer yeah Definitely surprising to see how many people do actually know about RMU. You know, people always give it, like, I guess, down a little bit, but people, yeah. people yeah, know people about know. it. People know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is a good thing. Um, so this season, another player joined out of England, and Charlie Lawrence. Have you had any connections with him? I mean, he's from pretty close outside of London, if I recall. Yeah. Um, have you had any connections with him since he's gotten here? Oh, yeah, a lot, yeah. You know, it's great to have an English uh, player, first of all, just in terms of just, just with, like, the same, you know, in terms of our experiences, you know. The football system in England's very similar, you know, everyone's gone through a similar path, like a path whether they've been on trial at a professional club or released or professional contract, something like that. So everyone's been through like the same experiences and England's small as well. Like, you know, someone that knows someone that knows someone. So, you know, um, no, it's good to have a, a player like Charlie in our team. He's, you know, he's very good, got, you know, a lot of quality set, pie uh, set pieces very technical, very sharp. So he's a great addition to the team. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy playing with him. It's great to hear. And so another person, like you mentioned earlier, that's new to the team was Coach O'Keefe. I mean, how has it been learning under him, a guy that made Appalachian State into a great program and coming over here and trying to tackle the new thing like RMU soccer? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been great, you know. Like, um, O'Keefe has got a lot of experience. So um, he's probably seen hundreds of players like me and the rest of the players and he's probably seen a lot of seasons a lot of um ups and downs um so it's good to have a, a a manager that's kind of been through it all a little bit that's seen you know success and that's where we want to be you know the schools that he's been at he's been very successful uh won a lot of things played a really good football had a lot of players move on to the professional game so he's he's probably the or he's, well, he's definitely the best man for the for the job and um, it's been really good to, you know, kind of uh, be involved in his coaching sessions and um, picking up little things um, that he sees in my game and he sees in our game as a team and how we can improve on that. So yeah, it's been very good. I I've really enjoyed it and I can't wait to keep improving and keep developing on him. 
It's good to hear. Good to hear, especially we've heard a lot of good things about him as well, just being involved on campus. Uh, so this season, you got to score your first collegiate goal down in Northern Kentucky, and that yeah. helped the win. I mean, against such a good team like Northern Kentucky, how important was that for happening, and how great did it feel to finally get that, I guess, monkey off your back? Yeah, I mean, like, it was – yeah, it was uh, it was a really tough game, <laughs> and NKU are a good team. They they beat us. Uh, well, we played them in the spring, and and they beat us two 0 But we thought for I say seventy percent of the game, we thought we were in it, and we could have easily got a goal and um, and went up. And at that time, we wasn't the team we were that we are now, or at the time a couple of weeks back. So we were a completely different team to the spring. And even in the spring, we were close and we were battling them. So we were very confident that the first game with the team that we had and the experience we have now, we could get at them, you know, and, and we did that. You know, I think they were very surprised by how much we improved as a team. Um, the first game, you know, we were, I think the first half, we must have had like, you know, so many runs and counter attacks. They just couldn't handle it, you know. And obviously myself, you know, getting a goal, it's, it's always great to get a goal, you know. Um, you know, I missed a couple chances uh, the game before, so I was a little bit like, "Damn, I need to score!" You know, I need to, I need to get a goal. You know, and when I got the goal, I was just like, "Yes, I finally got the goal." Um, but instantly, so I scored, I celebrated, I was crazy. But as soon, like instantly, I was like, "Okay, it's one nil." I know how good NKU are. You know, I know we're still trying to get better as a team. Got to focus. You know. And the game ended 1-0 <laughs> and they had a couple chances themselves. So, um, yeah, it was great to score a goal, but it was the main thing was to get the win, clean sheet. You know, it was a perfect away, away game for me and, and the team, yeah. Yeah, definitely a good experience out there, especially against a good team. And, yeah, you know, seeing the chances not go your way and then finally, you know, getting that in must have been nice. Yeah. Um, so we've talked so much about from last season to this season. Have you noticed a change in the mindset of the team over these couple of months? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think for the returners, a lot of experience from the spring, a lot of growth, a lot of learning. You know, I think as a team um, in the spring, we were a bit, a bit naive at times. You know, even me, myself, you know, not, not really knowing the level of the college, you know, of the top teams. Because obviously it's a new conference that we went into. So a lot of the players, I don't think any of the players played Horizon before spring. So it's a completely new level of play compared to uh NEC was it yeah NEC NEC was a completely different level so um f yeah in terms of returners just experience and growth you know we learned that every game's gonna be tough every game's gonna be a battle and, and, a, and a grind so we're just gonna have to we have to be on it you know in training in our preparation on and off the pitch we have to be professional to to compete with these teams and I think for the, the, the new guys that came in uh, the new guys that uh, that came in in the in the fall, um, just bring in their their experience, uh, experiences too. You know, we had a lot of international uh, players come in. You know, from France, um, Israel, Germany, uh, England, as you said before. So a lot of uh, different cultures, experiences, and I think that's helped us too a little bit because everyone's bringing in their own, you know, little qualities of play. You know, I think I think I don't even think we've actually gelled. 100% yeah I feel, I feel like there's still a long way to go but even now you're seeing it you know you're seeing the improvements you know so you know it's going to be very dangerous in the next year or so how we all start to gel you know and um, as a team culturally so um, yeah we've uh, it's, it's very different very different to the last spring yeah and you mentioned you know guy from Israel gal you know who you're currently tied with for the team leading points but yeah yep. it's it's been nice to see you guys I guess perform over the course of the season and it's crazy to think that you guys haven't really come together yet like you said yeah um so what do you think has fueled your success this season and not only the success of the team as opposed to last year well fueled our uh, success as a team yeah and then yours um being with the currently tied for the points lead yeah I mean first for the team I think just just the spring you know I mean you know, in the spring, we we didn't play our best football, you know, and uh, a lot of teams, you know, kind of ran like ran over us a little bit at times, you know, and um, one of the main things that Keith's been talking about is respect, you know, how we need to earn our respect from teams, you know, we can't, teams aren't just going to give us respect just because right. we're Robert, like Robert Morris and we're a college team in D1, you know, they're going to give us respect when we fight, you know, when we uh, get back at them, you know, when we attack them and 
impress them, you know? So getting respect was the main thing um, that we wanted to get from other teams. And I feel like teams are starting to respect us, to respect us a lot more um, because they know that we're no pushover. You know, we beat NKU. We've lost, we, yeah, of course we lost games, you know, but we've beaten NKU. We've beaten um, Wright State, who are very respectable teams, teams that have beaten other big teams in the conference. So respect is the main thing. And I feel like we're on the way to doing that, but still, uh, we still need more respect to the team, you know? And I mm. feel like we're going to get that a lot more in, in the next couple of seasons as yeah. well. And uh, yeah, for me uh, personally, um, you know, I, I don't really think too much about points yeah. as much, you know? I love to get a goal. I love to get an assist, especially as a, a midfielder as well. But the main thing for me is performance. You know, I wanna, I wanna be able to like um, dictate games and um, really have my effect, like my stamp on a yeah. game. You know, whether that's just being involved in in a goal or involved in someone then assisting another player. I just wanna be. I just wanna impact the team. You know, as best as I can. And I feel like that's what. Um, I was striving to do in the spring. I don't know if I did that as much in the spring, you know, under the circumstances, yeah. but um, that's something that in the summer with hot spurs, I was really looking at, okay, I'm gonna play a, a bit more advanced in the midfield um, for, uh, for the fall. So when I'm uh, at hot spurs in the summer, I'm just thinking about uh, being the man being the man that like dictates the game and being able to start the attacks and stuff like that and make runs, make forward runs, you know? So that was my main aim technically on the pitch. And that's what I'm trying to do. And um, still got a long way to go in terms of perfecting that. But I would say that's my main goal when I was starting the season. Okay, I want to be this sort of player, you know? Yeah, and you touched on it a little bit. I mean, how? what are you looking forward to for the remainder of the season for yourself and for the team? And how are you trying to build your performance as the season goes along? Yeah, I mean, as a team, we've got uh, our next two games against UIC and Cleveland State. You know, I think Cleveland State are unbeaten. So um, that's going to be two tough games. And I think the rest are uh, a couple mid-table games. So, uh, you know, just more competing, you know. I think I feel like we're getting better every game, you know. We've just, you know, I think we've been a bit unlucky at times of, you know, uh, goals and extra time goals at times and stuff like that, you know. And, and, you know, we've had a tough conference as well, you know. We've played uh, Pitt, uh, West Virginia, Akron. So it's been a lot of learning, you know. And, you know, we're not even halfway through our development as a team, you know. So, um, yeah, I feel I feel um, we've still got so much more to go, so much more to go. And I feel like the remainder of the season, you're just going to see us improve and improve and improve and improve. You know, obviously every game will be different. Some games we might not have much of the ball, might be defending a bit more. Other games we might have more on the, like more of the ball and be attacking a little bit more. So every game will be different, but I feel like every game will show different aspects of how we're actually improving. You know, it won't be the same, but it'll, be, it'll show different aspects of how we're building as a team, you know? And uh, uh, personally, yeah, I just want to do more of the same, you know? Uh, if I can get an assist, a goal, great. But mainly if I can, um, help impact the team and, and, and start attacks and dictate the play even better. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's, it's been cool to see the team sort of, you know, knock off some of these, you know, higher tier opponents as you're going along. And it's been fun to watch season as you go. But if there's anything else you'd like to add or anything else you'd like to say, I mean, now's your time to do so. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Put me on the spot. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just, I just have to say, um, you know, I don't know how many people watch this, but uh, just come down, you know, come down to um, the uh, uh, the soccer games uh, near the rec. Um, I know it's a bit early. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a bit early, but you know, set an alarm, wake up, come to the uh, to the pitch and uh, support us. You know, it'll be very helpful, but uh, we'll be very grateful as well. And uh, you know, we'll try and perform for you uh, as a school. So yeah, we can't. There'll be a, we can't wait for the next couple of games. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how we do. Um, I know we're going to put everything into it and um, show our best plays. And, and, and yeah, you know, we're just going to keep working.
Awesome, awesome. Well, it's truly been a pleasure to sit down with you, Brian, today. Uh, also, so best of luck for the rest of the year as you guys get into the stretch run. Again, really appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Appreciate you for having me. Of course. Yeah. This has been another edition of CSN Interviews. Brian Okongo of Men's Soccer. Stay tuned for our next one whenever that may be. <laughs>